Hi, my name is Don Dilworth. Uh, that's me in the picture here. And in these video tutorials, I'm going to show you how to run uh, some of the most often used features of the Synopsys Lens Design Program. Okay, let's assume you've uh, downloaded and installed the code. So you double click on the icon and it tells you, you, well, you don't have a dongle, so the hardware key wasn't found. You click OK. And then you select, let me run the program with a limit of 12 services, which is a kind of a demo mode. And then the, uh, the command window opens, and you're looking at the contents of the lens library in the current directory. Now, there are two ways to interact with the program. You can type commands in the command window. They're short and quick, and I use them all the time. Or you can do um, the same thing with the mouse in most cases. So let me show you. Let's suppose I, I want to get out the lens in library location 1. I can type get 1, and it comes back. Or I can, if I don't want to use the command form, I can go up here to the uh, sidebar, click that button, and select lens number 1, OK, and again it comes back. Now let's look at this lens in the sketchpad. That, that's the main graphical interface in Synopsys. I could just type PAD in, in the command window, or I can go up here, I can click a, a button, and there's the sketchpad showing the lens. Now let's get a drawing of this lens. Well, there's a button here on the sidebar that'll do a, that'll do a drawing. And I can also type a command, DWG, that'll do a drawing. Now, if I type DWG, <coughs> since that's a command, the program automatically tells you the format of that command down here in the tray with some optional arguments, and you can type those if you want to. And it gives you a hint. It says MPL. That's the name of a dialog that'll do much the same thing. So let me get rid of this. I'll type MPL, uh, menu plotted analysis, and here's, uh, I can type, uh, uh, click, click on the drawing button and get my drawing that way. Okay, let's get a rotating solid model. That, those are always fun. I'll click a button here, and there it is. I can spin this around. And of course, there's a menu to do the same thing. Menu perspective is the name. And I can just type MPE and immediately go here. And then I can select, let's say, rotating solid model, select some T fans. Let me do the auto color option, execute this. And now here's my lens shown with, with optional colors. Okay, <clears throat> that's probably enough for this a quick overview. If you close this lesson down and go on to the next one, it'll show you how to enter a lens into Synopsys. Right now, I'm going to type in the command window, EE -E means excellent editor, to open a macro editor. And now we're going to enter a lens file. I'll show you one way to do this. Let's type here, RLE, read lens, ID, let's say, test doublet. Give it an object. I'm going to use the OBB format. I'll explain that in a minute here. Zero, one degree field, 25.4 millimeter semi aperture. Wavelength CDF. That's the, uh, that's the default, but that's how you do it. And I'm going to type uh, units, millimeters. You can also make that be the default. Okay, let's enter the lens. Surface one, radius 100. Thickness, let's say 12. Last table, shot catalog, let's say it's BK7. Two radius, uh, minus 300, thickness one, and that's airspace by, uh, by default. Three radius, minus 300, thickness, let's say eight. And let's do the glass table of uh, F2. Now four, I'm gonna use a curvature solve here. UMC minus 0.05. I'll explain this later. This, this will give us an F10 lens. And a YMT is a thickness solve so that the uh, paraxial focus will be on the next surface, which is 5. We type N, and that's the end of our file. Now, this is the format of the RLE file. Starts read lens, ends with an end. Um, and many of the files in Synopsys uh, have this, this kind of format. OK, let's run this. I'll just click on the Run Metro button. And down here, you'll see the, um, some first order properties, Gaussian image height, focal length, F number, and so on. Let's, uh, let's show this, uh, this lens using the sketch pad. I can type PAD into the command window, or even easier here, I'm just going to click on the sketch pad button, and there's the, uh, there's, uh, there's the pad window. Um, let's just blow this up, make it a little bit bigger here. I'm going to click here a button, the pad top button. 
put in a scale factor of 2, let's say, click OK, and there we are with a scale factor of 2. There are a number of object formats, and there are a number of ways to uh, define uh, the input that the program uses to figure out where the pupil is. Uh, this is somewhat complicated, and to try to simplify things, I've, I've written a pupil wizard. Uh, there are a number of wizards in the program. Let's, let's go to the pupil wizard, and I'll show you that. MPW is the pupil wizard, and here's the screen, which shows how um, those things are currently defined. And when we enter the OBB format, we specified an infinite object, um, fixed semi-field angle of one degree, uh, there was no skew object, uh, the stop was on surface 1, we fixed the pupil radius in X and Y, and we told the program to use a paraxial pupil um, because we didn't say anything else. Uh, so all those things are spelled out here in the pupil wizard, and uh, you can always just go here and, and select the ones that you want. Uh, this is OK, so we'll press the OK button. Uh, you can also get to the wizard by going up here to the, uh, to the top and clicking on the wizard, and you can see we have a pupil wizard. You can click there to go right to the same place.